<laughs> hey y'all <laughs> happy wednesday it's hump day today was podcast day so we were uh we recorded an episode of the podcast today we were recording for like three hours and sometimes it like most of the time a full episode really does take that long to record but the story that our guest told was insane. Like, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. And it just baffles me how these dogfish, like these people are out here just tearing the world apart, like one broken heart at a time. It's wild what these people will do and how people will manipulate you and lie to you and cheat on you and steal from you and just be a complete scandalous I can say that, right? I'm a grown up. I can say asshole. Anyways, they will do all the bad things and it's just, it's so, it's so sad. Um, so I, anyways, that's what I did today. What did you guys do? Um, I, I had to curl my hair too. Cause I curled my hair earlier, but this side didn't hold. I think, I think I need a good condition in my hair. Anyway, so I curled these. I'm going to let these set and then I'll brush them out like these and it'll be really pretty. <laughs> um, oh, so this eyeshadow I used. This color called Kiss, which is a, a limited Saint's lip, Mackenzie Jane, a limited edition from Saint. It's like a pretty red color. And then I did like cocoa, and then I did some Soulmate and some Drift. Isn't it so pretty? It's like a brownish kind of pink, so it wasn't too brown and neutral, but it wasn't too pink and crazy. And so I thought it was a nice combo. Um, so thank you, hi Stacy Pizza, hi 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 everybody. So good to see you, Chainsaw. Hello. I love these screen, like the, what do you call them? Screen, screen names? What are they called? Handles now? We used to call them screen names when we were on AOL, when we were being trafficked by grownups and didn't realize it. Anyways, um, thank you so much. So I wanted to, I want to show y'all like step by step, explain it to me like I'm five, the different way that I do my makeups. Oh, thank you. These are little hearts and these are just little, like little dimey huggies. So these, um, these are from Rockbox and I have a Rockbox subscription, which is like, I just spit, it's fine. Um, it's like $20 a month and they send you like three or four different jewelry pieces, but you can create like a wish list and tell it like what kind of jewelry you want. So you can make it a surprise or you can choose what you want them to send you and you can like wear them as much as you want and then return them. Or if you choose to purchase them, then it just takes your $20 that you pay and credits toward, um, toward whatever you want to purchase. And they're not expensive. It's not expensive jewelry. So like if you, um, if you want my, a free month of the rocks box, rocks box rocks box if you want the a free month of the rocks box um let me know because i can give you the the code oh i posted it on my stories and then i found and then i heard a bug and it sounded like a pterodactyl so i called my husband and then he went up there with baseball bats and a motorcycle helmet but i recorded the whole thing because it was every time he's in the room i just get out my camera because he's going to do something ridiculous it's so funny the prices in my color match us are canadian um laura i think think they're probably Canadian. So when you go to your color match, when you go to the website, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it should have the Canadian flag. As long as it has the Canadian flag there, um, then you're on the Canadian site. Otherwise it's on the American site, but most of the main shades should be $16. So if it's, if it says $23, then it's Canadian or $22 or however much, whatever y'all doing up there in Canada. I don't know how to Canada math. I don't even know how to America math. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay, so this is something that I wanted to show you guys last night, but then me and Ryan had a situation. Ryan's my 10 year old son and it was kind of like, I accidentally punched him in the throat and then I lost my mind because I thought I really, really hurt him. And so also look, see how it covers up the redness really well. Um, so I punched my son in the throat on accident. I totally legitimately throat punched him like he was coming around the corner and I was like being silly like I'm gonna get you and I just stuck my fist out and he kept running and ran into my fist and it like Egh. and then he legit like grat like I I throat punched him on total accident and then like he was fine obviously and he thought it was funny but like my mama heart was breaking because I would never like hurt my son on purpose like I I just I felt so bad like causing him pain and then he was like real sad and he was I was like oh, I'm so sorry and then he was crying because I felt sad I was like baby I'm so sorry he's like mommy it's okay really and I'm like but I just throw punched you and he's like mommy it's okay I love you and I'm like I love you too and then I felt bad and I'm like do you want ice cream I'll buy you toys and it was funny was it real <laughs> well it always says put a title here and I'm like what do you mean to put and like I panic so 
I'm just like, look, I don't know what to put for a title. There ain't no telling what's going to come out of my mouth. There ain't no telling what the topic's going to be. Look, show up or don't. Okay. That's it. Just, just show up or don't. But stop asking me what you want the title to be. Cause I don't know. Make a title. They've got AI now. They should be able to make a own title. Then it should say something along the lines of, you don't know what kind of bullshit you're going to get in here tonight, but go ahead and pop on because it's going to be a doozy. That's what it should say, but I don't know if, if it'll fit there. Um. Oh, Ashley, yes. If you're not getting great coverage with your makeup, you guys, I am like kind of good at this makeup. I know this makeup like the back of my hand. One time we were at the Alamo and my dad said that and he turned around and ran into a pole. It was really funny. Um, anyways, but I know this makeup like the back of my hand. If you weren't getting, if you're not getting good coverage, it's probably just the shade. To be honest with you, most of the time people try to wear a shade that's too light because they try to compare it to liquid foundation. Your liquid foundation should be much lighter than your cream foundation. Your cream foundation should look really dark, like to the point you're like, nah, -uh, and then it blends better. So it's just the opacity. There's a difference in the opacity when it blends a whole bit. There's like a science. It's fine. Um, so trust me, girl, I can help you. Um, okay. These, oh, these are on Lashify. They're do it yourself. I, I did it myself. I like, I put them on myself. I have a discount code for the lashes too. Just comment. I think you have to comment lashes and then I have the automation set up. So it'll just send you the link directly and then you don't have to wait for me to reply. <laughs> um, okay. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. And this is going to look freaking crazy. And you guys are going to be like, she is high on drugs. Okay. See Stacy. See scientist. Uh, it's science. Okay. Let's talk about this. So let's just get the whole freaking thing. Okay. Let's talk about the, yeah, let, will you let me know if you get the automated link to my lashes? It should say, hey, here's the link to my, or whatever. And you should get it right in your DM. Using automation, sometimes it bites me in the ass, but sometimes it kind of helps. But I, I kind of prefer to have one-on-one -on -one conversations, which is why I put my, I did not put my number here. Oh, my kids, mm, Pen. Okay. On one connection with women and with my customers and with my followers and that one-on-one -on -one connection is so important to me so please please text me message me whatever and a lot of people like when I reply to their message they're like oh I didn't expect you to respond and I'm like why <laughs> and I never want to be someone that like is unapproachable or people are like I didn't expect you to like I want everybody to know that like you are special you are wonderful and I want to be your friend um Oh my gosh, girl, don't even worry about it. You'll you'll be totally fine. You will be wonderful. I'm telling you, trust it, girl, just trust it. Okay, so I wanna show you two different ways to do this makeup. I'm gonna show you one way on this side and one way on this side, and then you're gonna be like, oh, snow? Girl, we was in the pool, eh? Am I sweating? That smell like B.O. A little bit, not kind of, it's, it's a little bad. And it, it, snow, I can't with you people. Yeah, I can't with the snow. Whose idea is that? Okay. So on this side, I'm going to apply a one layer foundation. So I'm going to put my 3d foundation in one layer on my face, and then I'm going to blend it. And then on this side, I'm going to show you an alternative way to do your makeup that some other people like, and it's total preference. There's no rules to makeup. You do whatever makes you feel beautiful. Okay. So I'm using this smudge brush. This is a double ended brush. It looks a little bit like a, an eyeshadow brush cause it's small, but it's mighty. Okay. So I'm going to start in my contour. I'm just going to dig in there and I'm digging a little bit heavier than I would with the bigger brush cause it's teeny tiny, right? Okay. So this is my contour. I'm putting on a lot, but it only looks like a lot because it's on a small brush. So just calm down. Okay. What I like to do is I like to find the contour. So where my cheek goes in, you can normally feel that just by pressing your face. Another way to do that, this is a trick that I showed that so many of my customers who were like, I don't know how to contour, take your brush and roll it up close to your eye and start rolling it down your face. And where your brush goes in, like you'll feel it on top, see how it's over and now it's going in, that's where your contour goes. You want your contour to go right there, you want it to lift that cheekbone. Or if you want to put your contour higher, it will make it appear that your cheekbone is higher because the Lord forgot my cheekbones. He gave me some, but not a lot. And so sometimes we got to pretend, right? That's the whole idea behind contour. So roll your brush down your face. Boom. There's your contour. 
bronzer goes up here. So bronzer is warm, sits on top, contour goes in that little crevice, right? These smell good. You guys got to get the brush cleansing spray. Oh, mm, it smells delicious. Okay. Now, um, okay. I've already contoured on my brush. So now I'm going to take this contour and I'm going to wipe it on my face and it's going to look like poop wiping on your face. And you're going to be like, ew, that's really heavy. Just watch. Okay. So I'm going to find my contour and I'm going to come here and just kind of like hook it under just a little bit, but you can also do a straight line until you're comfortable, like hooking, 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 whatever. Oh my God, Carla, that is so cool. <laughs> the man, I've, I have, haven't got a mammogram yet, but I'll be 40 this year. So it's, that's when you go get the, that's when you start getting your mammograms, right? Is that 40 and good for you for going to get a mammogram. And that's cool. Also, <laughs> I got new friends. Okay. Contour, wipe it on your face and it looks like crazy dark and you're like, mm, I don't know. I don't trust you. This is not like a, a liquid foundation or a powder, right? This is a little bit different. This is wiping on our face like super. And I can do this with a smaller brush because it's a smaller amount, right? You don't want to do this with a big brush because you don't, that's a lot more product, right? So this is where I put my contour since 35. Okay. But is the, um, any of you are, any, any of you are, into, are any of you insurance people? Like does it health insurance start covering your mammograms at 40 or is it based on the state or how does that work? Okay. This contour, look how lightly I'm touching my nose, just super, super lightly applying a really light line here. And you can see where the natural white line from the brightness of the light is straight down the middle of my nose. And then you see this line right here, this is my natural contour line. But I wanna bring my contour just inside this natural line so that these two lines are just a little bit closer together, okay? You're one of my favorite accounts. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, you're so sweet. Your health insurance should cover it. Okay, cool, I, I really, my mom just went and got one and I was like, I think I need to go get a mammogram. Just, we have um, a history, not a big history, but like a small history of breast cancer in my family on my dad's side. So I think it's about that time, I'll be 40. And I think that's uh, it's about time. Okay, so a little bit of contour. You do not have to contour your nose if you don't want to. Mine is not particularly big. I just think it looks really snatched and pretty. Yeah, okay, so your insurance, it bases it on your family history because that, that would make sense. Because my aunt, my dad's mom, my dad's mom's mom, like they all had the breast cancer. So um, it's, it's probably really smart to get started with that. Okay, so I've applied my contour at my hairline down to my ear, right? And then from my, the, above my ear, kind of down under that cheekbone. Remember, roll your brush and where it goes in, that's your contour. This is something that is not like, this is, doesn't have to be perfect. If you, my 10 year old son put my makeup on and I was like, wow, son, that's a uh, great. And then whenever I blended it, it was perfect. This is not makeup that has to be done perfectly. Thermography is a good option as it's less trauma to the breast. Oh, really? I also wanted to get, I wanted to get a breast lift and like just kind of, I don't know, I've lost a lot of weight. So a lot of things are really sagging. So it would just make me feel a little bit more confident if they were lifted. Would that affect like mammograms in the future? Um, insurance based on recommendations from the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force. Oh, there's a whole task force? Okay. You guys are so smart. I like getting a bunch of, a bunch of us. To, it reminds me of Barbie because Barbie has like, you know, Barbie had more jobs than like any man ever in the history of ever. So like she knew everything and like all of us combined are like different Barbies, like your mammogram Barbie and like, you know, ophthalmologist Barbie and I'm private investigator Barbie. And, <laughs> and then whoever, if any of y'all are pregnant, you're, you're Midge. What's her name? Midge, right? Anyways, okay, sorry, I'll shut up. Okay, contour goes here and then under here. And if you wanted to get a little bit crazy, you can follow that shadow. I typically don't, but if you have a double chin here, just do a little like this, do some scribbling. But this is, you can literally scribble this on your face. Like it does not have to be perfect lines. I swear it, swear it. Okay, hey Shannon, Barbie is the bomb. She has everything. She knows everything. She's cool. Okay, now I'm going to do the lightest color. So my contour shade on the outside, my lightest color, which is my concealer shade or my brightening highlight, 
goes in the inside. Look, down my nose, under my bag. Okay, we're not, I'm not, we're not. To avoid, avoid the bag. No, no bags, okay? So I just kind of avoid that bag and you can go down your nose, under the bag. Okay, do that next time, like next time you do your makeup. Okay, then we're gonna make like a palm tree here, which today we're only gonna do half of one because I'm doing this half a totally different way. Uh, caught my breast cancer in 2021, get them. Oh my gosh, really? Where are you now in your breast cancer, um, in your breast cancer? Snatched. And so <laughs> oh my God, Laura. Um, what is that called? What is what called? So this is my brightening highlight. We're doing like palm tree leaves. So think how like a palm tree, kind of whatever. And then this, see how this end is more like flat and mashed. And this is like more rounded that nose I love oh this one is a brightening highlight I'm using the color called linen and linen is uh, I love linen because it's super bright and it's if you have a lot of texture maybe don't go so bright but I really like that bright pop um yeah so this is linen okay so palm tree the um what do you call this part the trunk of the tree goes straight down your face see and good for you, Sarah. That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Good for you. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, girl. Um, okay, palm tree here. And then this part, I just call my coconuts. But you got to put it under the bag. <laughs> okay, so now you see how I have makeup here and makeup here. But not any makeup here, right? Each of these colors provides coverage. So you don't have to do several layers. So if you're someone who struggles with... Um, maybe you struggle with texture or lines or wrinkles or whatever, this might benefit you. Or if you just like a super light makeup look, try this and see if it helps. And also I want you to notice how dark this color is compared to my skin. First of all, I'm self tanning. So my face is light. I want to match this. Second of all, this will blend out much lighter once I actually sheer it out with my brush. So I need you to understand that it's okay that this is dark and I'm gonna show you. You'll see it right before your very eyes like magic. Okay, so I'm taking my main foundation shade. It should not match your skin tone perfectly, especially when you just swatch it. And a lot of people get their makeup and they'll swipe it on their face with their finger and they're like, uh-uh. And I'm like, nope, nope, mm -mm. nope, uh-uh-uh. As my son goes, uh-uh-uh. So, I have my main foundation shade everywhere else where I didn't put a contour and where I didn't put a brightening highlight, okay? It looks insane. Like it looks, I first saw this makeup and I was like, that's freaking dumb. Nobody does that crap. Like who are these idiots? And now I'm one of the idiots. It's fine. Like, uh, listen, pay my bills, I'm, whatever. Like I love, I love this job. By the way, if you have, like, if you've been thinking about being a saint artist and slinging some makeup, girl freaking do it. I've been here two and a half years and oh my gosh, it has been such a cool, such a cool job. Okay. Um, so I'm pressing this makeup in with my brush. I am not like swiping and swirling. I'm not scared of this color and trying to wipe it off. We're just kind of tapping, right? So what you'll see is these colors are going to really start to melt together into your skin. We're not mixing them all together like Nesquik on our face. We ain't doing it. Not. Stop it. Just lightly pressing, little bit of swiping, little bit of sweeping. So you see, you know how I say, don't bend your bristles. It's because some of y'all out here doing this. And stop it. Stop. Ew, I know I broke my brush. It's fine. Um, so I want you to remember, just lightly press. Like you should only be pressing. If you have to press harder to get your makeup to blend, it's likely that there's too much. And then just try less. It, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. So all of our brushes are double-ended and you'll find that useful because they fit in different parts of your face and the different contours. So you know how the, um, the brightness I didn't put in my bag line? Oh, which brushes? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Nerdy Apple. Um, I try not to miss any, mi miss, <laughs> try not to miss any comments. This is the 3D brush. By the way, if you didn't know, I, I, ID on the Saint website means 3D. And I didn't know that for like three months because 
I don't math and I don't do Roman numerals. I wish they would just use regular numbers like people, but it's fine. They're fancy. Um, okay, so these, I did not jam any of that product into my bag area, but as you blend it, your makeup will melt into your skin like if you leave an ice cube on a countertop and it starts to melt and it starts to spread really pretty, that's like what your makeup will do. But you have to trust it at first. Like you have to be like, okay, this is ugly, ugly, ugly. And then all of a sudden, bam! And then your makeup looks good and you're like, ah, oh, she was right. And my motto is, I will never say I told you so, but we'll both know it. <laughs> so I am just lightly kind of tapping. I'm not jamming my makeup into my face or all around oh thank you so my best friend tiffany of like 30 years this is like five different sets i put together she does custom press on nails because one day i had an allergic reaction to acetone after going to the salon for 20 years and she was just messing around and she was like i made you some nails and i was like dude these are actually really good and now she has a full-blown business so if you want her information just let me know but her she's her thing on instagram is nail junkie 615 okay so you see how I'm just tapping. I'm not crazy blending all around like a psychomaniac. We're just tapping. Also, if you haven't gotten the merch yet, um, if you haven't gotten any of my merch yet, there's a shirt on there and it says, don't blend your makeup like a psycho. Oh, Sue! Oh my God, you guys! Sue, I didn't recognize your name. I'm so sorry. You guys, so um, Sue was with us the whole week in Cancun, like her and um, her and her, what, oh God, what's that, what's my friend's name, your friend, the, the other guy, um, oh crap, I forgot his name, they took care of us in Cancun at the resort we stayed at, and they were amazing, the, I just, we went to Mexico several weeks ago, like the last, the first weekend of April, and we spent, we spent a week there, and it was amazing, um, Oh, thank you. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Thank you so much. Yes, the contour and the highlight was the smudge brush. Please, please, please forgive me. This is the smudge brush and this is the 3D. Girl, you are the real MVP here, Nerdy Apple. Thank you. You are amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so see how I'm just tapping to blend? And then this scary color that everyone's like, mm, I don't know, I don't need a contour because it's fine, but really you're just scared of it. When you just tap onto your contour and just kind of lightly sweep, lightly sweep, blend up to Jesus. See how I'm just lightly kind of lightly sweeping up a little bit, not like going crazy. Um, Jules, this is, oh, I gotta show you. It's these ones. So I use, this is Kiss. This was a limited edition um, in the advent calendar, but I think, I also think, it, no, I'm sorry, I lied. This is crimson. This one, is, that one's a limited edition, right? Crimson? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Yes, I think. Yeah, this was a limited edition. And did this one come out? The, I'll have to look for you. But it was this one. And then I used um, cocoa on the outer corners. And then I used soulmate on the inner corners with some drift. And it turned out really pretty. Oh, was it January's color? Okay, so it's a limited edition um, from January. And they're doing a shade of the month. Every By the way, today's the first day of Una. Una was really pretty. I did a look with Una that was really nice. Okay, so we're on our contour. And see how I'm just lightly kind of tapping, lightly sweeping. Okay, the second highlight, so the lighter shade, I put here just to kind of add a little bit of brightness. So I'll show you how I did it. I did this right here, light, and then I come straight down my nose and then under the bag. So it's just to lighten just a little bit and you can like go as light or as heavy as you want with the brightening. So if I recommend a brightening highlight to you and you're like, mm, I want it a little bit brighter, just get the brighter one. Like my recommendations are just for like, just to try to stick to the main shade, but the other shades are complimentary, but you can really wear whatever you want. And then I did straight down my nose, like straight down the whole like center of my face. And then that brightness kind of really pops whenever you finish your makeup and you see like the lights and the darks and whatever. Okay, so see how I was just lightly kind of tapping? There ain't no bags there. No, mine, I don't have super discoloration in my bag area, but I do have lines. I'm be 40, see? That's, that's lines and wrinkles and I don't want nothing like 
caked in there. And so because you don't need so much, it's really easy to, sometimes we over apply because the, the mind doesn't register that like you don't need so much makeup because we've been doing it the same way since eighth grade. And so our mind doesn't recognize that. And so we add way too much thinking it's like liquid, like we've always used. And then it's way too much. Um, okay. So see how that contour is not literal, that dark line that I put there. It's not literal. Like it's not a literal dark line. It's just enhancing that shadow, right? That's all I want. I don't want it to be super crazy. Like I always say, tappy tap. This is the, Sonia, this is the 3D brush, but I applied with the smudge brush. Oh, no problem. You can, if there's no real wrong way to apply it, but sometimes if you don't know, like the concept of like the, the lights and where the darks go, then sometimes stuff like this is really helpful because with this one layer application, you can see like this color goes here, this color goes here. And all of this, you can see the dimension, the darks, the, this dark and cool. See how it just brings that shadow up? See that? And it just enhances what's already kind of there. So that the idea is that when you're looking at the light, it provides a certain amount of shadows and you know, whatever. When you're not in front of the light, you want that same, the same, like you want the same shadows to appear. So that's what your makeup kind of does is it gives what the, if there's no light directly in front of you, it helps to maintain that even when you're not looking directly at the light. Okay, so that's what I did. So I applied with the smudge brush. So contour, just kind of slap it on. It does not have to be like a straight line. Like you can just, it just melt into your skin. So it doesn't matter if it's a straight line or not, right? And then a little bit on the side of your nose. And then when you lightly tap, these brushes with this makeup are basically perfect. Like they know what to do. They just know, just let them do it. Just let them do their job. All you have to do is lightly tap it to your face, right? We're not painting anymore like we do with liquid foundation. We are just tapping because this needs to melt. It doesn't need to spread. So it will spread on its own. So all this needs to do is just kind of mash it into your skin. Like just melt, it'll melt into your skin, right? Super, super light. Um, I decided I'm gonna get my lips done. Yay, oh my gosh, good for you. You'll like it. You'll really like it. It just gives you a nice little, like a simple enhancement that just gives you a little boost of confidence. And I don't know. And then when you put on like a lippy or something, it really helps them stand out just a little bit. And I don't know. It just makes you feel just a little bit like it just makes it look pretty, you know. Um. Oh, girl, you are so sweet. Thank you. Okay. So I did... I was swiping and it did, it just didn't look the best. Well, see, and, oh, hello. Okay. Um, when you swipe, when you swipe the makeup across your skin, like we're trying to pull it around our skin, this makeup wasn't designed for that. This, this, so you're just basically like mixing everything all together just by tapping. It gives you a really pretty finish. So look how you can still see my skin. It's not super caked. And this is just my contour my brightening highlight or my uh, concealer and then my foundation or my main highlight. And remember I showed you how dark it was and look how it blended out really nicely. It matches my, my neck and everything looks good. So if you are someone who tans easily or you're coming into summer and you know you typically get that tan, go ahead and uh, like just text me and say, hey, I need a secondary color for when I get a little bit darker or if you're a self tan girl, <laughs> use my self tanner. I have a discount link for that too. Um, but if you're a self tanner girl, match your foundation to your neck and then you can still have your foundation there for when you're not self tanned or whatever. Two whole weeks without bending my bristles. Oh my gosh, you're like a rehab or what, like, like remission. <laughs> Good for you. When you don't, is it, how much of a difference does it make with your makeup application when you don't bend your bristles? Isn't it much more like it's, it's just much prettier, right? Okay, so I did this side with just one layer. Like I did my contour, I did my brightening highlight, and then I put the main shade everywhere else. And everything provides coverage, right? Then on this side, I'm gonna show you the way that I do it that, um, what do you do to keep the eye bags off? If you, if you have a lot of discoloration here, use the color correctors. I can help you figure out which one is best for your discoloration. And then it's like, it's invisible to the eye. Like it's just less aggression. So now I need to go to the gym. 
<laughs> she would be real aggressive with her makeup. Um, so I can, with if you have dark under eyes, don't try to shove a lot of your concealer or a lot of your makeup there. It'll just make it textured and cakey. Let me help you find the perfect exact opposite of the color for the color correction and help you just cancel it out. It's the best way. You'll love it. Okay, so on this side, I did this way. On this side, I'm gonna show you how I apply my main shade. So I'm just gonna take my brush, sweep it on the top of my makeup like a powder, right? So this is, it's so hard to grasp the concept that this is not liquid. It's not even a powder, but we're gonna treat it like it's a powder. So I lightly sweep into it, just kind of tapping the top. The idea is transfer the makeup from the pan to the tips of your bristles lightly. No, put no pressure on the makeup. Just let it let it kind of tap into it. Like boop, 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 and let it get on the bristles, right? Okay. Oh my gosh, you got it today. I'm dying to know what you think. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this pigment that I just dusted, like gently tapped into the top of my makeup, and I'm gonna sweep it onto my face lightly. Look how dark it is, right? But remember what I told you, when it's applied on your skin, it always blends out more sheer. So it's okay if it looks a little bit dark. So what you're gonna do is when you melt it, it when it melts into your skin, it's going to be much more sheer. And keep in mind, I'm trying to match it to my neck because of my self tanner, okay? So, um, oh, thanks Gabs. So I use the Lashify and they're, um, I usually use like the 18 EE for extra extreme and I usually do 18, 18, 17, 16, but I ran out of 18s and I sent the next day, obviously the, uh, the new ones came with bad timing, whatever. But these are 17, 17, 16, 15. And I think they look really pretty. I really like the Lashify a lot. Um, let me just comment, like type the word lashes and as a comment and it'll send you my discount link for it. You get a discount on like the, what's it called? The control kit or whatever. Okay, so this is my main foundation shade or my main highlight, as we call it at Saint, because we fancy. And I'm just tapping this all over. Notice that I'm not swirling and just like trying to apply it all over, right? We wanna press it in, we don't wanna swirl it around. And if you cannot get your makeup to blend just by lightly pressing with hardly any pressure, you are wearing too much. and. If you're like, well, I'm not wearing too much because it's not the coverage I want, then your shade is too light. You should be able to wear very, very little with good coverage. But most of the time, people are so afraid to wear the darker shade because they're like, that's not gonna match. You have to go darker. You saw how dark this was on my skin, but look how light it's blending out. You see what I mean? I hope this is a good example for you to kind of show you that the colors look dark online. They look dark in the pan. They look dark when you swipe them on your skin, but they ain't that dark. They're really not, I promise. So I'll show you this, check this out. So if I take a finger swipe, right, and put it on my hand, okay, that's how dark it is. But if I take another finger swipe and put it on my hand, right, and I blend it, See how it's not actually that dark, like it's much more sheer. See how that's super pigmented and that's much more sheer? That's what happens on your face. So it blends to the point where it actually is, the opacity changes, right? Like when you blend it, so different than liquid foundation. It is not like liquid. You got trust me. God, I can't have y'all looking all crazy. Listen, I cannot. Y'all can't run around looking crazy. I can't even, I can't. I can't sleep if y'all run around looking crazy and there's folks out there that know that Mackenzie Foltz made you look crazy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, girl, it's bad for business. Yeah, it is very much bad. Okay, so I just took my main shade, like my main foundation, my main highlight, lightly sweeping, lightly dusting it all over my face, okay? Now I'm gonna go in and add my contour. So over here I did... I use this tiny little, <laughs> here I am in re, <laughs> I'm teaching you how to, how to learn these, these tactics in the real world. Um, okay. On this side, I used my contour, my smudge brush and did a line of contour over here. I'm going to use the same 3d brush. I squeeze it at the end of the brush or see how it's a little bit fluffy and I can squeeze it, tap in and like do the thing. 
or you can use a different brush. This is the detail brush, okay? This one is already squoezed. Like this one, if you squeeze it, it'll kind of give you like this, right? It's This one's already squoozed. Squ squeeze squeeze whatever and so then you can tap this into your makeup and use this and then sweep up or you can just if you just have if somebody says I just have a budget for like one brush which one do you recommend it's this one because it can be manipulated in different areas of your face to do a different job for you okay so it would definitely be the I, I, I D, the 3d brush okay so if you squeeze it or if you use the other brush the detail brush and you tap it into your contour, just the top, just the top of your contour. See, there's not very much, it's not super crazy. And I'm gonna take it, see that gray tone? Yes, Nikki, squoze is a word, cause I said it. Don't come up in here judging me, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's an artist on my team, you guys. We have so much fun. If you like, I need y'all need to sign up as an artist. I don't know what to tell y'all, but y'all y'all need to get your butts in here and sling this makeup because it is the literal funnest. Like, my team is so cool. Like, and everybody kind of pitches in to help one another. We all kind of work together, and I just these girls are they're so amazing. Okay, so that brush where I just put that contour, we're just gonna look lightly tapping lightly stamping whatever just transferring that pigment to my skin all words are made up so thank you all words are made up <laughs> Yaddy. and i'm going here at my hairline again so instead of the smudge brush where i just like scribbled it on like a toddler drawing on a wall um i just kind of am tapping this on with this brush right and you can see how it's a little bit less intense than like that that line that I made. But this is gonna look exactly the same. Look, lightly tapping. I am barely applying pressure to this brush. Like all I wanna do right now is just control it. So super light, super light handed and we're blending up to Jesus. Just enough to kind of pull it up and kind of just tap out the edges, okay? See how light? super light. I'm barely holding onto my brush. I just want to keep it still. That's why I'm holding it here. Otherwise, this is how much pressure you should be using. So hold it still and just lightly tap. That's how you can get a really beautiful finish. Okay. That's why, that's how you can avoid using too much and just listen, just do what I do. Just do what I tell you to do and just do that. Don't question me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And have fun with it too. And always just text me. Like if you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I messed it up. Text me and be like, yo girl, I, uh, I, I did a thing and I don't know what's happening. Help me. And then I'll be like, all right, girl, send me a picture. Like, what are you, what are you struggling with? Or how can I help you? And then we'll, t I'll help you talk. Like I'll talk you through it. Okay. Lightly see barely any pressure, but I have to hold it still. So lightly, lightly. So see how I'm bringing that contour on the inside of that already existing contour line? So we are just literally enhancing what's already there. We are not wearing makeup as a mask. I'm talking to myself. Mackenzie Jean, we are not wearing makeup as a mask anymore. I refuse to wear makeup as a mask. I refuse to hide behind it. I refuse to accept anything less than I am beautiful just as I am, I just like to enhance what I have. And I hope that you find the same confidence in makeup again with this because it really is that easy. So if you're a makeup idiot, like so many of us at one point, then please count on me to help you like get looking snatched. Um, thanks, Erin. Um, please let me know if you don't get that color match form in your messages. I have that set up also. Um, do you notice a difference with each method? No, no. <laughs> they both, uh, each method is just, I think it's just preference. I kind of like this one a little bit more where you're kind of like applying the main shade and then it just feels like less of a hassle to kind of like be like, oh, they're going to mix. And then you, you feel weird. Like I'm someone who doesn't even like my food to touch on my plate. So to have all the different colors separated is great. But then when you mix them, I'm like... Like it's my OCD. So it's total preference, but you can do it however you want. Like do, the idea is that you have the dimension. So now I've added my contour super lightly. And now just like over here with my palm tree and the coconuts and the trunk of the tree. I'm, oh, it's raining. Okay, that means it's gonna be nice and cool. 
I don't know, Florida. Um, okay, I'm using the other end of my 3D brush, sweep into my concealer shade, my brightening highlight. Um, Orphan Annie, it depends if you're, it depends on the coverage you want. If you want full coverage, like you are a full coverage girl, and for some of my mature clients who might have um, more texture, lines, wrinkles, pores, things like that, I like to use a more dense brush, like the, the buff brush, because you can really press in those areas instead of sweeping, which will make less product, like you don't want any product to kind of cake in the, in that texture. So I think the, a denser brush is the best way to go. So it dep depends on the preference that you want, but, or the coverage that you want, but I like the 3D brush, anybody can use it. You can, all you gotta do is squeeze it and like it'll be dense for you, so it's fine. Um, okay, so small end of the 3D brush and come in here and do our palm tree. So just kind of like a little palm tree method, right? And then the trunk of the tree, which was already there because I did the other side already. Hey, Felicia, it's good to see you. And then the coconuts, right? So look, tippy tip, like we're not using a whole lot. Under the bag, but mostly straight down the nose, okay? Look, straight down the side of the nose. If your face is a little bit, is more of a, a little bit more of a different shape, or if you want to, apply your concealer here and you don't have any texture there, like go nuts, right? I like to avoid this area because of all of that texture, all those lines and the, the wrinkles. Most of us are the most textured and dry here. Felicia, that's okay. You're welcome here anytime. You know, you can go away and come back. And that's what I love about, that's what I love about all y'all is that like, we don't have to talk and then we do and it's just right where it was before. Okay, so palm tree straight down the face, palm tree leaves, right? And then here we did our little coconuts down by the nose, under the bag. And just as you tap it, you'll see that that makeup just kind of blends. Would you recommend using the highlighting for an older woman? Yes, you can brighten in your T-zone and have texture there. Um, for if you have more texture, you might not want to go super light. Like I go super, super light. I don't have a lot of texture there, but I do avoid that super light color in the texture. You can use a darker brightening highlight, but still lighter than your foundation. And it's fine. Like you could absolutely, you can totally do that. I just recommend using less product and, um, a darker color. So the light, thank you, Rachel. Okay, so you're welcome, Margo. Good question. Okay, so I'm just tapping this in. So this is um this is linen. So I'm still using linen for my brightening highlight and just tapping it. So these are the same colors I used on both sides and you can do it literally however you want. So I used, on one side, I just did all the colors in their different areas. On this side, I did my main foundation first and then added everything on top literally do whatever you want. You can't tell the difference. It's fine. Like do it however you want. Yeah. Felicia, it's easy to do. I did it too. I wore way too much and I was like, this makeup is freaking dumb. What did I sign up for? This is ridiculous. And I threw my palette away like three times and I was still like, and then when like I had already made a video, made a couple videos. Cause I was like, I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Like, I didn't know I was signing up for like, I thought it was a pyramid scheme. I didn't know I was signing up to sell this makeup. Like I didn't know that it was direct sales. I signed up under freaking corporate and I was like, I have no idea what's going on. And then, um, and then I was putting all this makeup and I was like, this is literally so dumb. I'm done. Like we're not doing this. And then I threw my palette away, but I had already made a video and people were like, I want to try this makeup. And I was like, nah, -uh. no, you don't. Nope. Mm -mm. And they're like, no, yeah, I've seen this online. Like I want to try it. Now someone I know is doing it. Like I want to try it. And I'm like, nah, it's, it's fine. Like go order from someone else. And they're like, no, obviously I want to order from you. So then they did. And then I was like, well, okay. So now I have to like find a way to like it. So I felt really pressured, but then little by little, I was like, oh, and I just kept watching the girls that inspired me initially, like all the artists that were, you know, that I saw online that I thought were so stupid doing the stupid makeup because nobody does makeup like that. And then they like, yeah, I thought it was stupid, but they don't know that they were inspiring me. Like they have no idea. So that's, that's another reason I think is to connect with so many women that like I would have never had the opportunity to connect with. kind of like spread joy and confidence and you know in women which we really a lot of times we really miss the boat on you know lifting each other up and so I think it's just really cool so if you want information about the artist program just comment artist and I'll help you like figure out if it's good for you or whatever but I've since found a team like I'm not under
Britain, like four, 400 and something women. And they're amazing. Like we, oh my God, I love them so much. Okay. So now that I've done methods, right? So this is like the one layer method. This one's not, not one layer, but it's like, it's not, this makeup isn't super heavy. So like, it's fine way. Uh, uh, fully well, first of all, your screen name and like, in like your screen name is your name, but also like, I, of course I know, like, that's what I love too. And that's what you're absolutely product, right. And I get it. And so many people are in like direct sales. They want to sell a product. It, it, it totally understand. But like at the same time, like you have an opportunity to like reach someone who needs you that you don't realize. Just like there's a lot of women who I don't know who they are from Adam, but they'll message me and be like, oh my gosh, this really helped me. Or you're, you know, this really helped me do this. And it's like, you don't know who you could inspire just by showing up. Like the makeup will sell itself, right? Like you don't, you don't have to like be desperate for sales and all this stuff. Just kind of show up and inspire women and you know, they'll connect with you and they'll see, they'll, they can make a determination if they want to try your product, whatever it is, you know. Um, okay, so this is my bronzer, lightly sweep into it, just like my foundation and my concealer and my contour, lightly sweeping. The con the See where that cool gray ashy tone is kind of in the valley, like in that little hollow of your cheek? The bronzer is going to go on top, so kind of like the sun lands on the highest point. That's where your bronzer is going to go. So we're going to tap this right here. So see how this is gray and this is more like reddish orangish. So this is Bella bronzer. This is like my favorite bronzer. I am totally biased. I'll admit it. And we're just going to tap this on the tops of our cheekbones. So just enough to, it looks really dark, right? And it looks so scary. And I think that's why most women are like, mm, I don't want to contour it. I don't want to use the bronzer. Like I'm fine pass, hard pass. It's fine. I just want the foundation, whatever. And they also, a lot of women also say, look, I just want a full coverage, like foundation. I don't need all your extra like highlights and contours. And I'm like, girl, that's literally the point. We don't need more layers of makeup. We need more colors, right? So the more colors you use, the more of a dimension you have, the more of this beautiful, like black dot on a white piece of paper is noticeable. Put a bunch of colors around it. It's not as noticeable. Even if you never touch the dot, even if you never cover it up. So if you have discolored skin or discoloration or melasma or acne or problematic skin or just whatever it is, like you can just add some really pretty dimension and you'll really see a big difference with not, not like not, not crazy layers. What's your favorite flower? Oh, I, I, I don't know. That's oh. Oh, now I'm not going to sleep. Like peonies? Because <laughs> it sounds like panties. <laughs> peonies. No, I like peonies. I wanted peonies for my wedding. But it also does sound like panties, which is kind of funny. Um. Anyway, so bronzer. Super dark and scary, right? Watch. Just watch. Look. Look. No magic tricks. No camera tricks. No cuts. No edits. No nothing. Look. Look, look, look. Are you looking? Are you looking? Look. You see? See what I mean? It's freaking pretty. So pretty. Dark, dark, dark. Oh, wait, hold on. That's not enough. Dark, dark, dark. Oh my gosh. Scary, scary, scary. What are we going to do? Just, just tap it. Just tap it. We're just going to tap. Okay. So the more you tap and the more it blends and the more it melts. And then you're like, oh my gosh. And also, let me show you another trick. Fluffier brush, more sheer coverage. See this one like bends all willy nilly and it's all like, whoa, whoa, we're doing this. And this one's like, Right? Like, I don't know what to do. And this one's like, whoa, whoa. Okay. The whoa, whoa will make it really sheer. So this one is kind of like, oh, whoa, all over. And it's like spreading your pigment. It's making it more sheer. And you're just kind of dusting. And it's like kind of all over. And it just kind of still blends. You can bend these bristles because they will only bend as much as they're supposed to. Right? We're not mashing and pressing and doing this number and then doing circles. Stop. Stop. I'm gonna start grounding y'all. I'm gonna start like, I'm gonna start throwing out red flags like they do in sports ball. Um, if super dry skin on my makeup makes my skin look so textured. Gabs, try a darker color, number one. Number two, use the same moisturizer. I usually use it at night because it is really moisturizing, but if you use it in the morning too, it's amazing and also use the tone try if your skin is super super dry try the saint skincare 
I personally don't like it. It was too, not that I don't like it. It was just too gentle for me. So I have my preference, but the Saint skincare has milk in it, which is lactic. It's milk-based, which is lactic acid. It's naturally exfoliating, which will also help with hydration, anti-aging, all the things try it try it's like try the skincare and they're this the cleanser and the toner and the cream and the mask and all the things like whichever one try it and see what you think because it'll really really help with even problematic skin and um it just it really does a great job i think a lot of my sensitive skin customers really like it too um and then are you are you using your makeup every day gabs you have to do the sound effects or it doesn't count you just have also, I'm adding a little bit more bronzer on this side because I feel like this side was more. So look, lightly sweepies like it's a powder. Lightly sweepies like it's a powder. Um, so anyways, if you are some, and if you use the Saint Skin Care, will you share your experience? Because I don't use it. It was too gentle for me. So if you like, if you use it, can you help give a little bit of like, you know, what it did for you? Also in my beauty group on Facebook, it's called Freedom in Beauty VIP. If you type that into Facebook, it'll take you to my beauty group and you can ask there too. Like, does anyone use the, the Saint Skin Care and how do you like it? Hey, Allie. Um, and they'll, they'll tell you like what their experience is and everything. Anyway, so that's the bronzer. So bronzer adds warmth where contour adds that cool gray, ashy kind of, I know they both, they both look brown, so it's confusing, but look, gray brown, more orangey brown. Oh, so then, so to answer your question, I'm sorry, I'm squirrel. Um, I use the Benefit Pore Clearing Cleanser um, for my cleanser. It's my absolute favorite one that I found. If you have dry skin, I don't think I'd recommend it because I notice that it's like not drying, but I feel like it's not as moisturizing as some other cleansers. So probably if you have dry skin, don't try it. I mean, you can try it, go nuts, and then see how it works for you. Um, and then I use the Saint Cream at nighttime because it's really moisturizing. It's super thick. I love the Saint Cream. And also, even though I don't like the cleanser, these, the Saint Refresh Wipes have the skincare in them. So these have like the cleanser and the toner and the makeup remover in them. And so these are really great to have, like just to wipe off your makeup at the end of the day. So if you're lazy or you're out or you're traveling or whatever, use these and it's just the same as like, well, it's not just the same. Like I always recommend using your cleanser and water, but if you're in a pickle or you're just feeling freaking lazy and just keep these by your bed. I have some by my bed and I, sometimes I just don't feel like it. Like don't just don't sleep with your makeup on, get these and they have everything in them. And I think what I like about these instead of the cleanser is that like, I can feel it rubbing everything off. Whereas the cleanser, I just, I guess I just didn't feel that like, do you know what I mean? Like with the cleanser or whatever. Um, and then in the morning time before my makeup, I use the drunk elephant. I use three products together for moisture. Oh, it feels so good. My skin loves it. And then I use an eye cream and I have, if you want the, the link to my, my drunk elephant stuff, I can send it to you. I feel like, like a full transparency. It's not cheap. Like it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's expensive though. Cause like, you know how when you go to the dermatologist and they recommend like the skin suticles or what's the other one? Skin better or whatever. Those are really, really expensive skincares, but really good. And the, the drunk elephant is kind of the same stuff. Like it has, you know, it eliminates a lot of the unnecessary ingredients, but it's half the price as the, of the, you know, the doctor recommended stuff. So, and I, it's really done well on my skin. So if you want something kind of in the middle, get the drunk elephant. I never recommend, I don't care where you shop, I never recommend using the drugstore, the drugstore skincare because if you look at the ingredients, so much of them, yeah, they're they're more like they they're a little bit more inexpensive, but there's like you're getting what you pay for. Like there's so much more water in them and it just I feel like I don't know. You get what you pay for. Do the skincare. Get the expensive stuff. That, that I don't care where you shop. Get the expensive stuff because your skin will know. I'm telling you, your skin will know. <laughs> Rachel, it's so bad. So many of us are like, we're at the end of the day. It's just like, I don't want to take my makeup off. Like, it's just one more step, but definitely do it. Um, Hold on. I don't want to miss any. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, another PI. Hi. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. I love my fellow PIs. Do you recommend using a setting spray or setting powder? 
I don't want it to be an overkill. No. Oh, that's so, I'm so, that's so funny you asked because the other day I just did a video. I just edited it. So it'll be posted soon. I do setting powder right here in my T-zone. Excuse me. Control oil, set makeup, and make it a little bit brighter. And it gives you kind of a blurred finish. So where you have that really pretty youthful glow from your cream makeup, it's mattified. So it just adds to the dimension. Um, and then I go through with setting spray. So, I, I mean, go bonkers. Like, whatever. It's fine. Do it. And the Saint Skin Care, or the Saint, Kenzie, I can't talk. The Saint Setting Spray has aloe in it. So it's bulletproof and moisturizing. So it has the skincare in it. So it's a really good option for you. Um, hold on. I think I missed a question. I don't like this question. Are you still walking on your treadmill? Felicia, not, not as often as I was. Like I kind of got out of the, after vacation, I kind of got out of the habit and I started getting busier at work. So I'm making excuses. Um, I'm not walking on it as often as I should, but thanks for calling me out. Cause now I'm gonna, cause now I feel like shit. <laughs> So thank you for that accountability. I'm thank you for that. I want to be able to proudly say, yes, I'm still walking on my treadmill. Um, oh, if you love the drunk elephant, I love it. CeraVe is good. Yes, I love, I love um, CeraVe. The refresh wipes. Yes, these are the refresh wipes. Listen, y'all, I like these too. These are the Pacifica Glowing. These were sold at Ulta and they're only $5 a package, right? These are like 50, 48, 4, 53, whatever this is. So the difference is a lot, right? But it's the difference that's in the makeup, right? Or that's in the, the wipes. These are makeup removers. So they're great at removing the makeup. I use these like before, if I take off my makeup to do another tutorial or something like that, whatever. But I use these if you really, really want to take off your makeup and get your skin clean. These have the cleanser in them and the toner. So these will, the, you will notice a difference in like the softness of your skin and the texture and the brightness. And it's really beautiful. I just recorded a PI story today that it is still, it's being edited right now. Um, but I did another PI story and I was doing the tinkle razor where I went through and just shaved my whole face with the little tinkle razors, kind of like a dermaplane. And um, it makes your skin really, really smooth. And then when you use this and the, the Saint Cream, you guys, it is like baby's butt in a bottle. No, that sounds weird. I was listening to a, an episode of uh, Sword and Scale, the podcast, and they were talking about how people would like cook and eat babies. Like that's what murderers would do that. I'm obsessed with murderers. I'm sorry. We're, we're on a tangent now. It's fine. Anyways, it's as smooth as a baby's butt. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, stop. <laughs> sorry. It was a bad, it was bad. Um, I'm obsessed with crime. I'm so sorry. We, we just went, I just, look, I took us down to dark and twisty. I try to keep my dark and twisty to myself. Something doesn't work. Okay. So now that I've done, now that I spent seven hours talking about these shades that I used, um, when you get a color match, so like comment match or text me or whatever, whatever, um, message me call my mom, whatever. Um, I match you to a contour, a foundation shade, a brightening highlight, a bronzer, and a little bit of lip and cheek color. So you'll notice my lip and cheeks, they look like they're all mixed because they are. Because I don't use like one color where I'm like, mm, like I could, they're like, everybody's like, what color is that? And I'm like, it's literally all willy nilly. That's the color. And it's because I do this and just, <laughs> Cause I like it. I like how it turns out. There's some little bit of shimmer, a little bit of matte, a little bit of pink, a little bit of mauve, a little bit of like, like pretty neutral, like coral, whatever. And I just kind of like lightly sweep in there. Um, I watch murder documentaries to relax. Same. Oh, there's a new one that Hannah was telling me about. We were recording the podcast today and Hannah told me it's called what she reindeer gate reindeer. Oh, what was it? Rachel? Go look. Reindeer something reindeer baby or something like that it was about a guy it was a true story about a guy he was like in he's like in British British or in the England or whatever and he was stalking like a comedian and it was a true story and Hannah was like obsessed with it because she's a comedian and so now I have to watch it baby reindeer thank you thank you that's what it is okay so with my blush I'm using this big brush that does not mean that we mash this onto our face okay don't do it we're not just gonna mash this we're going to use the tips of our bristles to lightly sweep onto our face. Lightly dusty. Okay? That's how we're using this big brush. I know it looks big and you're like, oh my God, I use the whole thing. No, stop it. 
started baby reindeer and I haven't finished. I, now I need to, I need to watch it. I posted about it today and now I need to finish it. Okay. So we see how I just lightly, I lightly swip, swip, sweep, swip, swept it, swept, swept. I lightly swept. <laughs> that don't, a grammar is hard. Please don't like, I don't know. Please don't unfollow me. <laughs> I unfriend you. Okay. So lightly like the sweeping and then lightly, lightly tap in. And a little bit goes a long way. See how I'm barely touching my skin with like three bristles of this brush. Okay. And then just kind of lightly dust it all over. This is a really great way to get a really beautiful, like, like pinkish, like feminine kind of pop without being like super crazy. And obviously you can wear different colors. Like there's, there's nude and there's pink and there's desert sunset and there's a shimmer and all this stuff, right? Now I want to blow your mind. Watch this. Do you see this color that I recommend to so many people? And they're like, mm -mm, nope, nope, girl, we don't do the dark. If y'all don't start listening to me, I'm going to, I'm going to call all your mamas. Listen, look, this is Royal. Look how dark she is, but look how sheer she is. Look, I just tap a little bit on lips. I tap a little bit on my lips. And look, this is that dark color. that everyone thinks I'm insane about. And look, I didn't even use, see how a little bit goes a long way? Not my mom <laughs> with the flip flop. I beat my son with a flip flop the other day. He said, we were getting out of the car and he was being silly. I said, Ryan, will you grab the mail or something? And he goes, mm -mm, nope. And we, I was like, that's it. And I, I grabbed, cause he makes jokes about the flip flop. And so I grabbed my flip flop and I came after him and he's like, mommy, no. And so we were playing around with it. It was really funny. This is that dark color. This one is royal, okay? So when you see these dark colors online, I know they look dark. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know they look dark. I know it. I get it. I, I get it, right? They look dark. I get it. But look, it's not. It's not dark. You can build it up if you want. I use them really lightly, but you can build it up. And look how pretty it, it looks. kind of like a stain, right? And if you want to use this on your cheeks, yeah, black cherry is another one. It looks black online. I, they need, I've put it in the suggestion box so many times, you guys, somebody tell them to listen to me. I, they need to give me a job in the back office and just like, let me, just let me run corporate. I got this. Just give me, all will be well. It would, it would be a lot of oversharing. There would be too much in for me. It's fine. Um, thank you. My best friend makes the custom press-ons. You, you can get a custom set, like wh literally whatever you want. She will make for you. She will do whatever. This is just a bunch of sets I put together, but. Yeah, so um, it's the black, black, it's not black cherry, black, what's the Clinique one? Black, black, blue, something, it's, yes, it's similar to that. Are the lip glosses long lasting? I'm concerned of it transferring and not lasting. No, they are, they do not have long wear because of the minimal ingredients. So there's no added ingredients that are not needed. Black honey, thank you. Um, which is, which is really pretty. Um, the ingredients that are needed to make these long lasting would like totally mess with the integrity of the whole formula. So they are not long lasting at all, but I do have some favorites that are not Saint, depending on if you like, if you like a really matte lip, I really like the, where's that? Where's that? Hold on. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte. It is the longest lasting lipstick, like lippy, I've ever worn. The color is true. It is not sheer. And um, thank you. I'll get the, the color match uh, form should come right to your DM. Um, the, it is not sheer, but if you have really dry, cracked lips like mine all the freaking time, even though I live in a humid climate and drink 17 gallons of water a day so I don't get it, um, this I would not recommend unless you put like a gloss over it. Um, so there are some really good long lasting lipsticks that I recommend. Saint is not long lasting. To make it long lasting, they would have to add ingredients that would mess with the whole integrity of the whole formula. And then it wouldn't be vegan and it's a whole, or not vegan. Um, it would not be, uh, what's the other thing? What's the, um, 
I don't remember what the other thing is, but it would like take away from or whatever. Um, anyways, this is, I just put this, the royal color on my cheeks and look, it adds a pop of red. Like even that you can lighten up gluten. Is it the gluten? Thank you. That's probably it. Where can one find a discount code? Girl, I wish they gave us freaking discount codes because, and then at the end, like when you go to checkout, it says, do you have a discount code? And I'm like, I've never even seen a Saint discount code except when they do like returns and they have to like, um, well, it's, it's already, this, the makeup's already cruelty free, but it's not vegan because it has beeswax and lanolin. I think it might be the glue. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's why they're not long lasting. Um, but also I wanted to recommend to you, if you get one of these, get one of these little palettes. These are the Demi Six. If you look online, it's the Demi Six palette and it fits three lippies in it. So if you take your three favorite lippies and put them in this palette, like so, just put three of them in here and you can close it up and put it in your back pocket or in your purse. It's a really convenient way if you just love the color. Otherwise, I can recommend some really, really good long lasting lipsticks that I love that aren't Saint. So you have options there. Um, okay, so pretty lippies, don't be afraid of the lippies. And then another thing that a lot of people are scared of, which uh, non comma degenic. Yes, thank you. Whatever that means. Listen, I don't know. I don't know how to say that word. Non comma 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 degenic. Com I'm words are hard. Um, okay, another thing I want you to not be afraid of is the illuminators. These illuminators look like this and online they look really dark like and you're like uh, I don't want that color in my face like that doesn't match my skin it doesn't have to the illuminator is sheer it's you're not going to see the color you're only going to see the shimmer or the sparkle whatever you want to call it so if you dust into your illuminator like it's a powder it won't clog your pores well because of the beeswax the this makeup is made with beeswax which is one of the main ingredients beeswax is notorious for like not clogging pores so it's really it makes it but i think yeah if it didn't some, it's one of those things but that's why they're not they don't have like the whatever ingredient it is that makes it long lasting that's the one thing that sucks but you can also like if you use the mattes they last a little bit longer so there's different things you can try you can do the setting powder but then only over the mattes not the glosses and so whatever. Um, okay. So the illuminator, super light. And what you want to do is find where it's the, where it's catching the light the most and just kind of dust and sweep it on. Usually it's the top of that cheekbone, right? So see how that just enhances that pop a little bit. So even does the Demi RV seven last as long as a lippy. So the Demi has a different opacity. So you're going to get um, oh, it's going to be a little bit more matte. So it'll probably, yeah, I, that one will last longer, especially if you're using the Demi shades. And then if you, if you use it on your lips, yeah, it'll probably last a little bit longer. And because they are matte, um, you can probably use the setting powder over it and just let it, will just sit. And then maybe like a chapstick or a balm or something. Um, but if you use it on your cheeks, like as a blush, then it'll probably last a little longer too. But at that point you're probably using like a setting powder or a setting spray. So it's just on your lips that it's not very long lasting and it doesn't, it's not really, it's not, it doesn't transfer really easily, I guess, but it doesn't, it just doesn't stay very long. But that's why I have my little, I always have my little Demi palette in my purse with me. Okay, so illuminator and the setting powder. So the setting powder is, and by the way, if you don't like, I like it to look like I'm wearing makeup. I like the look of makeup. I enjoy makeup. It's fun for me, whatever. If you don't want it to look like you're wearing makeup, wear less. Like you don't, it doesn't have to be super heavy. Do it however you want. Um, okay, so the, the setting powder that I was talking about, if you sweep into your setting powder and just kind of lightly dust it here in that area where you kind of put that brightening highlight, it gives you a really pretty blurred finish sets your makeup, controls the oil here. Um, I use, I use a uh, rose gold. Gloriana, I like your name. It's pretty. Um, rose gold is the, is the, uh, illuminator that I use, but there's, there's so many options. And I, I just think the rose gold is really perfect for everyone. I put sangria as a base and then a gloss and it lasts. Yeah. So sangria is one of the matte shades, right? Like it's one of the satins. So that one's going to probably last a little bit longer than the gloss. I, the sangria is really pretty too. 
I really like seeing seeing women wear sangria. I think it's really like it's bold and pretty, but still like you know what I mean? Like not too crazy. Okay. So see how the setting powder gives it like a blurred finish right here. And then you can still do the setting spray on top and it's fine. If you are someone who you're like, I need setting powder or else my face looks crazy. You are wearing too much makeup. <laughs> okay. So like if you need setting powder, you're wearing too much. If you, um, if you are wearing that much makeup because you need that coverage, I recommend shading up because when you shade up, you can use less and get the coverage that you want. It's kind of cool. And that's something that I'm really, really good at is helping you find a better color. So if you're still using your winter colors and you're someone who lives like in Florida or something like I do and it's not snowing, like some of y'all freaks have snow and I can't handle, I don't, good for you, I can't, I'm not interested. Um, <laughs> some of you guys have the snow and I cannot, but if you're someone who's in the sunshine, you're starting to notice you're getting more sun, you're going outside things, we're going swimming to the beach, whatever. Um, it's probably time to start shading up and it's really, it's really affordable. Each of these shades is only $16. So if you want to pop a new shade into your palette, like add a summer shade, like that's what I have here. My brightening highlight, my main like winter shade, and then my summer, like my darker color. And that darker color matches my self tanner. And then in the summertime, I'll do even darker and add darker and it'll be great. Um, <laughs> of course. Oh, you're so welcome. That's why, see why it says put a title and I'm like, you never know what we're going to talk about here. So I cannot put it. I shouldn't be putting titles because then you'll be expecting one thing and I'll be like makeup and you'll be like this, we are talking about murder. Like this is not makeup. And then I have to explain. And then somebody is going to be sad because they're like, I didn't want to talk about murder tonight. And then it's, I don't know you guys, I'm, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm a crime junkie. Um, okay, so that's like literally a full face of makeup, right? Kind of pretty. And this this look, I didn't do this look on a video, but I should have. I'll make a video with this look, but I'll use colors that are not limited edition um, so that you can get, so I'll do, I will do this look for you and kind of show you like how it, because everybody's been asking me about this, this makeup look today. So it's really, really pretty. Okay. So now I want to show you why I like the refresh wipe. So I did my makeup. You see how I did it two different ways. On this side, I did a um, one layer foundation, like highlight and contour situation. So I did my contour and then I put my brightening highlight here and I only put my main foundation shade everywhere else, like in between those shades. On this side, I did a full face of foundation. Um, in the collections, are you a three or four? Gloriana, they just did the new collections and I think I'm a level six in the new collections. I'm telling you, I know, I know they look dark. I know they do. I know, girl, I know it in my spirit, but they are not that dark. I'm a level six in the collection. So if you want, if your skin tone is like mine, get level six. I promise, I promise, I promise. I know they look dark. Um, and also when you get the collections, like it's a really great way to get like their starter, they're, they're called starter collections, right? So when you get the starter collection, it's a great way It's pre-made. You don't have to get a color match. You just go on, get the starter collection. You match your, you look at the picture and you're like, Oh, I look like her. And then you do match yourself and do all the things. Um, so the starter collections are a great way to go. I know crazy. I'm telling you, these colors look so dark, but I promise you, I, if you just, won't steer you. And also Saint has like a 30 day, like re return exchange money back, whatever situation. And so if you don't like it, or if you're like, Hey Mackenzie, I, uh, I don't, I don't like the shade on me. It's too dark or it's too light or whatever. I'm like, Oh, no problem. Let me help you exchange it. Let's see what we can do to make it better. And that's what I'm here for. No, definitely watch my eyeshadow videos. Like I try to do the explain it to me like I'm five which I feel like is what's missing in the makeup influencer world, right? They do the, they do it so fast and they're like, look, and when you do this color and this is the palette, okay, bye. And you're like, what, what just happened? And then you try to do it and you look like you got punched in the face by Mr. Crayola himself. And it's not fair. It's not fair. And so I want to offer like a step-by-step, -step, I'm a makeup idiot, help me and go slow. That's what I want to provide. <laughs> Cause it's not fair that women feel so like they, they feel such a lack of confidence when it comes to makeup and it's not fair. Right. When all we're trying to do is just feel confident and pretty and 
like, not that you should be comparing yourself to anybody online and because we all shit our pants the same way as we learned recently. Um, but also like, it, I just feel like it's, that's what they're, that's what they're there for is to like influence you and help you learn. And that's how we grow as a populate, as a human population is to inspire and encourage one another. So I think they are really positive and encouraging and inspiring, but it's like, girl, slow down. I'm trying to learn. Okay. Everybody's like, Oh my God. I, I literally just did a six minute makeup look in like an hour and 50, 62 minutes or whatever. Like it literally took me that long. That's why I like, that's what I try to do. I'm here for the eyeshadow tutorials. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to, and I'm going to post uh, more and more eyeshadows for you then. Hey, Daryl. I might need a darker color. Text me. Send me a text and be, see someone around you. Don't do this again. Don't, don't do that. The, did you see the video I posted today? There was, I don't remember who she was. Her name was Meredith. And she's like, there's someone behind you or, or like what's behind you. And at that point I was facing like with my, my closet shelf area was behind me. And she's like, what's behind you? And I thought she meant like, there's a serial killer behind you that has a knife and they're about to stab you in the head. And so she said like, let me see behind you. And the, it's, there is someone around me. Oh, what they, who are they? Oh, this is fun. No one's ever read my like. All right, can you see them even though it's on portrait mode? I don't know how to take it off portrait mode, by the way, but it's fine. Cause I, I that's cool. Who's 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 around me? Um, but anyway, so she said, she said, "What's behind you?" And I said, "Is there someone behind me, Meredith?" And like, I can see behind me because the phone shows like behind me. My grandmother. What? What color hair does she have? Which one? Which grandma? Which grandma is it? Um. Anyway, so like you, like, um, I thought like I can see who's behind me, but I was, I was like, oh my God, there's someone behind me for realsies. And I was afraid to turn around because if I turn around, then I have to face my death. And so I'm looking and I'm like, oh God, I'm about to get, I'm about to get seriously killed. And so then I was like looking like real slow, like, here we go. And then there was no one. And I was like, Meredith, there's no one there. And then I realized that like I could see behind me. And I realized that my, my mind goes straight to the like it goes straight to the, uh, my mind goes straight to murder. So that's what, that's what happened. And so also I got a package in the mail and it was not a scam, but immediately I was like, I did not order this. This is a scam. And then I found out what it was and I was like, oh my God, I'm so stupid. Of course. And so it's, that's my mind. That's my mind. Um, a two for one <laughs> makeup and Long Island medium, a two for one special. I don't know what grandmother figure on my mom's side would have brown and gray hair. Sadly, our world. It, it is, but also it's my brain. Like I'm a PI. Like I don't trust or believe anything. Like if someone does something, like if someone's like, oh, Mackenzie, you look really nice today. I'm like, what do you want? What did you do? What are you going to admit to? Like, what's what you broke my car? Like you, you, you keyed my car. What's it like? You slashed my tire. Like, what are you going to, what are you going to do? Like if my son says, mommy, I really love you. I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> and so I'm like, not really. Like I, you know, he's, you know, being genuine, but I'm just making the point. Like, I feel like I just don't trust anybody and it sucks. Oh, thank you. I curled it today and then I brushed it out and everyone panics when I brush it out, but then it has these really pretty waves. Um, what's the best way to catch someone lying? Dump them. Bye. She says it will be okay. What's going to be okay? I didn't have no concerns. What is she concerned? Now I'm concerned that she's concerned. What's going to be okay? Is there something? Something? Oh boy. Now I'm going to overthink this until kingdom come. Now I'm going to overthink this. I'm going to go pray to the Lord and be like, Lord, whatever is coming, Look, if she says it's going to be okay, like I trust it, but also there was nothing wrong. So now I need to know what she says is going to be okay. This is, this is, I can't. Um, okay. So the refresh wipes, right? Don't trust anyone if they say they're a perfect reader. Yeah. Don't, what? Oh, like a perfect reader, like a, like a, like a situation reader, like a, like a, what do you call it? Is it a spirit reader? I don't think there's any like perfection in that in like in mediumism me, me in me mediums -ish, ish like whatever um anyways like I I feel like I don't know I feel like stuff like that is really interesting like I feel like it's 
I feel like it really does exist. Like I'd rather believe it and it not be true than not believe it and it be true and then I'm a dick. You know what I mean? Like I, I, we're just gonna, we're just gonna believe it. And I don't know, like I can feel, you can feel spirit sometime I think. Like, and also when my son, well, just started walking so he was maybe like a year like a year and a couple months old something he was like one he was like no years old okay and we lived in this house where there was like oh there was a front door and then there was a long hallway and then there was like a wall right here right and he like he's no years old he does not know english right he's not doing nothing but this kid was playing peekaboo and my dad had just passed away and he was literally playing peekaboo and that was my dad's like favorite thing to do with the grandkids but my dad had only met my son just like a handful of times and he was a dd beady baby and so i was like there's no way and then he would like he was playing peekaboo around the wall and i was like dude like that's totally my dad a hundred percent like you cannot tell me differently and coincidence whatever he was playing peekaboo with my dad in that hallway and i was like no way that is so cool and me and his dad were like looking at him and we're like like it was so cool and so crazy. And so it was really, really neat. And then like there were times, like my son was, he was little when my dad, he was about that age. Like he was, yeah, he was just about one when my dad died. And so, you know, babies, like they, they're true. Like who do you trust more? Who do you trust the most? Babies and dogs. Cause they don't know how to lie, right? They, they have no concept of like, I gotta lie. Cause that's manipulation, right? They have no concept of that yet. And so, um, we would be in the car and my son would look up and he'd be like, Papa. And I'm like, you don't know, like you, he doesn't know my dad that well. Like he, it wasn't like we didn't talk about, like we never said Papa. I would be like my dad or whatever. And then he just started going like, Papa, like Papa. And he would like, and then he would look at my dad's picture and go, Papa. And I'm like, you don't even know. Like you don't even know how to talk. He does not know English. And he's going Papa. And I'm like, like it was crazy and it was so so cool you have broken many familial chains <gasps> what does that mean who did i break <laughs> what did i break i everything i touch kind of breaks it's i'm kind of a klutz i broke i'm probably it's that's, that tracks i live in st pete and i hope to see you following someone oh my gosh do you live in st pete i hope not south st pete <sighs> it's, that's a touchy subject south st pete I've done surveillance out there and I, I haven't done surveillance out there in probably eight or ten years I refuse oh the little baby yeah I'm for certain good chain what do you how do you break good chains what chains did I break what does that mean am I ad was I adopted my brother my brother would try to get like he would try to make me mad he'd be like well you were adopted and now I'm wondering was I really adopted it, which mean I broke the chains I was adopted it's for sure I'm calling my brother right now I'm gonna see if he knows something because it, that's mean if he knew and he did, and he wasn't seriously. Anyways, whatever. Okay. The refresh wipes. I did my makeup full face, right? On both sides. And now I'm going to use the refresh wipe to take it off. It doesn't, this makeup doesn't transfer super easy, especially if you wear like setting powder, setting spray, whatever. Um, but it does come off easy if you use drugs and alcoholism. My family is a bunch of Bible thumpers. Like, there's no drug and alcohol in my family, girl. Mm -mm. If there was, it'd have been exile, and I don't know about it. Or like a the no, mm -mm. no. I mean, we don't. Nobody in my family did that. If you did that, Lord, you get prayed over. They'd be exercising. Yes, mm, girl. They some they some Bible thumper. Like they, we love the Lord. <laughs> it's like nobody in my family would be brave enough to be like drugs and alcohol. <laughs> Um, okay, so refresh wipes. Look, it just kind of takes everything off really easily. <laughs> not, I mean, listen, not that like, if you, not that like, if you love the Lord, you'd never do like drugs or whatever, but I'm just saying like my family was like, you are not like, like you, that's just not something my family, nobody in my family ever did. Like we just, nobody was ever, nobody ever drank or like did any drugs. Okay, so this is, see how easily it's just kind of taking it off. I mean, I'm pressing a little bit. You've broken cycles in your family. That's cool. I That's good. If that's good, then that's cool. Violence. Okay, girl. 
Now, I, now I, I feel like I need to go around asking people some questions because now some people, some of them got secrets. Then they don't have to spill their guts. Look, see how it just like takes everything off, but it has the skincare in it is the difference. So lactic acid naturally exfoliating, which means it is taking the dead skin cells and the epithelials and the whatever whatever's off your face, right? With it. So this is like, yeah, these are the, the expensive kind or whatever, which you probably like don't go through them like crazy. These ones are only $5, but they don't have the exfoliating and the, but, whatever. But I use both depending on like, like at the end of the night, lazy girl by my bed, these guys. But then just like during the day, you need to take something off and reapply it, use those guys. And then I just lightly sweep off. Girl, I thought, is it Angela Houston? I thought it said Angelica Houston, and I got so excited. Which, do y'all know? There, did you ever see my trip to uh, my trip to LA? And I was on, I wonder if I can, where's my thing at? Hold on. Um, there was a, I want to see. Ooh. Hold on. Let's see if I can find the, no, I don't, I think it's on a note. It would take me forever to find it. So Octavia Spencer, do you know who Octavia Spencer is? One of the artists who's on my team. She's friends with her. And so when I was in LA and I posed with her star and was talking to Octavia Spencer, it was so cool, so cool. Um, anyways, I don't know why I said that. Anyways, okay, so this is <gasps> Tasha. That's her, that's her, that's my friend. She, she knows Octavia Spencer now. And I asked Octavia Spencer, I said, does this mean I can tell my mama and everybody that we are friends? And she said, yes. She told me, yes. D Tasha was there. She knows she, she, when I was in LA, Tasha met me and she was like, this is my friend. And I got to talk to her. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And now we are best friends. Me not, not, we're not best. I'm just joking. But still. She knows she was there. I took her picture. I took a picture with her. Thank you. See, the, we were, we was in Los Angeles, the city of stars, or whatever it's called. Okay. Refresh wipes takes off all the makeup. This is the makeup. It looks like it's super heavy. It looks full coverage, but it's not. That's the difference between this and liquid foundation. There's not layers and layers and layers and layers. These, where there's makeup on top of makeup, it's all the same consistency. So it's melting together really pretty to create this dimension, right? And you only enhance what's already there. You are already beautiful. You do not need makeup to be beautiful. You already are. This makeup just, in my opinion, does a really great job of easily enhancing the different areas of your face with the same kind of like color and the same kind of like it helps to enhance the features that you have and sometimes create fake features when the Lord forgets to give you cheekbones. Anyway, we, I'm holding a grudge, but it's fine. Um, and it just kind of creates those and you can, I don't know, you can use makeup to just really give yourself a little bit of a confidence boost. It's not to wear as a mask. If you're older, do you recommend the same? Yes. What for the makeup? Yes. There's so when you're older and you have texture on your skin, that's when I recommend like little spots like little, stand by, little spots like this. Whereas someone younger with like no texture, I would recommend just put foundation on. It'll, it'll be fine, right? It'll, it'll cover it pretty well. But if you have a lot of characters pinpoint, it's less product. It takes away that pigment with super small amounts. So like these color correctors and you just go in and cancel out that discoloration look see how much lighter that is than like a full like a full foundation face and I'm just gently tapping around like the discoloration look see it's gone Isn't that crazy and then you just kind of lightly tap where you need that discoloration like canceled out and I can help you figure out what colors you need for your discoloration. So you can cancel out like a majority of it. And if you cancel out the largest parts, like the most distracting parts of the discoloration, 
the rest of it looks like it's not even there. See, all that discoloration is gone. This is just a, look how much I used. <laughs> Isn't it so cool? So you can do a full face of makeup, which is totally fine. That's what I like. But also if you just wanna cover it up a little bit and then put on some bronzer, this is a really great option. It's a great option if you're older or you wanna wear less makeup but still cover spots. And many people think you need a full coverage foundation to cover up or to, to get a full coverage look like you need layers and layers, right? And a lot of people are like, I need full coverage. And I'm like, okay, what makes you want to use full coverage? And they're like, cause I have a spot right here. And I'm like, you want full coverage for your whole face because you're this spot. Let's solve for that discoloration. And then the rest, you don't need super full coverage. And this is not full coverage, but it kind of looks full coverage, right? So it's kind of, it's kind of like interesting. So this up here is actually an acne scar. So I used um, red, which cancels green, but this right here is not green. So this is more, this is actually pink, which is violet. So I need yellow. And when you take the yellow on the violet, which is often common for, um, for acne also, oh, that was too much. For acne also, if you have pimples, we, we usually describe them as red. Usually they're, baby pink or like you know violet and then you use yellow so this is not a science that you have to learn all you have to do is send me a picture and say this one and then i'll say this one and then tell you like tell you it's pinpoint right here so like that melasma all those melasma spots that i just covered up those are green believe it or not i know it looks tan but it's green so i used red and so use the exact opposite color to cancel it. And so now I have just this cute little freckle that I didn't cover up because I like that little freckle, but it's the rest of that line of melasma I got when I was pregnant that drives me nuts. Please know that your dad hears you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's so cool. I love my dad. He's a good guy. Um, okay, so I've kind of covered up those the, the discoloration that is the most distracting. If you have dark under eyes, I do not. So this is not a really great example, but if you go to my beauty group on Facebook, Freedom in Beauty VIP, make sure you type in VIP. Um, there's a lot of gals in there who do have dark under eyes and they use the Demi and they love it. So if you use the Demi, like shout, like shout, tell us how, why you love it. Um, anyway, so you see this color right here. This is like purplish, bluish, right? I happen, oh, Hold on, we were premature. This color right here is a little bit of blue, but right there is actually purple. So for my bags, if they were a little bit more intense, I would try to cover them up a little bit more. So to cancel out blue, we need orange, but this is a light blue. So I would use a light orange in a teeny tiny amount like that. That's even probably too much. And then when you tap on that super light, orange this is way this is even way too much product you guys like i use the fluffy in to pick up extra product it should be invisible to the eye anyways when you use these color correctors it just kind of cancels it out in a way that is uh, like undetectable to the eye it's just enough to cancel out exactly where you need it to cancel. And then there's darker blue, like up here. So I need a darker orange. And this is where you can really, you can really nail down like the discoloration and just cancel it out. It is really, really cool. So I can help you figure out like what color corrector you need. But look, it wasn't even very much and look how much brighter it is. And then where it's more purple right here, that's where I would use the yellow and I would tap right there on that purple violet tone and this is where playing with Demi kind of comes in handy because you can learn like it's I know they send you like when you order Demi they send you like a color wheel and they're like okay red cancels green which is Christmas um orange cancels blue so Florida Gators and then yellow cancels purple which is like LSU right so those are the ways to remember what cancels what but then it's like if the color on your skin if you're like that looks green but it's really blue how are you supposed to tell and if you have melasma and it's tan like what cancels tan and so it's a matter of knowing what the true tone is and that I can help you with all that stuff okay so um watch so you see if you're just jumping on I covered up a lot of this discoloration so watch this Look at all that that I colored up with, I colored up. I covered up with just those pinpoint amounts. 
So imagine what you can do with much more discoloration. You can really, really get to like the heart of the discoloration and just cancel it out without like going bonkers, right? You can do that with your melasma, pimples, acne, rosacea, whatever. I call it, see, it's such a difference, right? And you don't realize it because like you're, it's not so much, but then when you cancel that out, you're like, oh, that makes a big difference. So anyways, get the refresh wipes. They are really good for your skin. And there are many spirits with the group. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much, Jewel. I love your name. I named my dog Jewel after, um, after Jessica Jones like Jessica Jones from the new Avengers. I have her on my arm and it's not done. Like I still have to get her, her silhouette is supposed to be jumping from like the, the, um, the New York city, like skyline or whatever. And so this still needs to be finished, but Jessica Jones, um, her original, I don't know if you guys know this, but Jessica Jones, like the Netflix show, she was originally jewel, right? In the event. And so anyways, my dog's name is, I was going to name her diamond. Um, but that sounded like a stripper. So I was like, we got to name her Jewel, which is the same thing. But then I was like, but I really wanted to name her Jewel because Jessica Jones is my favorite superhero because she's a PI anti -hero, whatever. Anyways, I like the name Jewel. <laughs> Garnier micellar water. Yes. Micellar water is really good and it works well as long as, um, like I, it does, it does really well as long as you're also using a good cleanser. Can you put your highlighters on top of Demi. Yes, you can. I recommend doing your makeup first and then going through and seeing what still is distracting to you and then cancel it over your makeup because it's still pinpoint amounts, right? Or you can just do the Demi first and, you know, put your makeup over it. But then if you blend too hard, you will blend it off. So you have to be gentle like I, like I taught you, like tap, 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 super light and do it that way. But yeah, you totally, you can do it however you want. The Demi was intended to be used with no makeup, but I use the hybrid method where it's like the demi and my 3d makeup <laughs> jewel i like it okay so i was barbie on the cb radio oh my god are you an over the road trucker what, what cb what cb radio uh, that's the first thing i think of because like i think i'm cool because i know an over the road trucker and like that now i think everybody's an over the road trucker la roche is it la roche I've heard that stuff is good. I, I don't know much about it, but I've heard good things about that stuff. Also, if you, if you, again, if you go in my beauty group and like, um, if you say like, Hey, what's your guys' favorite cleanser or whatever? And like, how old are you? And like, what kind of skin do you have or whatever? And all of the, all of the ladies in there, they'll share with you like what their favorite skincare is and you know what, like I have oily skin and I use this or whatever. And I, I love, love that group of women like they are just some of them are customers some of them are other artists and they're really helpful with stuff like that a little bit what if you've never worn makeup i have no clue where to start what brushes are you new here because I, oh, I got you i always say this makeup is for the person who doesn't even know what makeup is this makeup is for the person who said what's makeup what what does that mean and so it's like explain it to me like i'm five like you are a five-year-old and i'm your kindergarten teacher and I will get you to the first grade and then the second grade. And I will have you graduating college early with honors. Because I will explain it to you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm chatting too much, you guys. I talk too much. I'm so sorry. Everybody's probably like, please shut up. But listen, y'all y'all can hang up if you want. Nobody's twisting your arm. Castor oil and Jojo. I say Jojoba, but it's jojoba oil, right? on my face, neck, and chest. And isn't that so good? Like it's, I've heard that's really good on your chest for like, you know, the, the cleavage wrinkles or whatever. Like you get those lines from your cleavage. I've heard that's really good there. Cause hide, like you need the hydration. Barnes, Barnes and stump, Barnes, Barnes and stumble. <laughs> I like that. Um, send me a, hit, type the word match here and I'll send you the color match form. Upload your selfie. Let's start there. Let me send you your color match. And then when I do, then once you get it, I want you to look at it and then text me and be like, okay, girl, what do I do with all this stuff you just sent me? And then I'll be like, all right, this is what we're going to do. And then I'll help you. I didn't wear makeup and love the PI stories. Now I'm an artist. Yes. Yes. She, she's on my team. Yay. Yeah. Your neck, your neck and your, 
I just learned that this is pronounced dick, 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 clutch. What's it called? Dick, 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 oh my God. Dick, hold on. Dick, dick, hold it, dick, hold it, Taj. Dick, hold on, hold on. Google machine knows. Dick, dick, hold it, hold on. How do you, how do you say it? Hold on, she has to tell me all the time. That's not, that's not. Why did she name find it? Hold on. Day, oh, here it is. Decolletage. 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 I don't know why that's so hard. Words are hard. It's fine. Anyways. <laughs> did I miss that? Hold on. Decolletage. This is the best makeup. Age 59. Yay! I like that kind of feedback. Thank you for saying that because a lot of women, I think a lot of, um, a lot of women with mature skin are really scared of wearing a, like a lot of makeup because they know like, they're like, it'll crease and cake in my lines. Girl, no, it won't. No, it won't. And they, there's a lot of women who are like, well, I don't believe you because you don't have lines and wrinkles. And I'm like, you, yeah, huh? first of all, second of all, I might not like, I'm only 40. So like I have a little ways to go, but I've, is that a vein pop? I've never had a vein pop out of my head. That's cool. I got, I, did I get mad? Am I hulking out? Babe! Help! Come here! I think I'm done. There's a vein that popped out. I've never had a vein pop out of my forehead. Babe! He needs, he needs, he needs to rush. Map quest. Map quest. Babe, he's, he is not, he's not a medical professional of any kind whatsoever, but I'm going to make him diagnose this. Babe, I, I, babe, a vein popped out on my forehead and I have never blood pressure. I've never had blood pressure in my life. Not even as like, not even when I was pregnant, there's a vein. I've never had a vein pop out on my forehead. Look. Look. Okay. What am I supposed to do about it? I don't do you, like I don't know. You know everything about science. Can you can you fix it? How? What does that mean? What does it mean when you got veins popping out on your forehead? Am I angry? I don't know. Are you? No, I don't okay. think so. Okay. Y'all, I got this. Now I'm wild. <laughs> I've never had a vein. The vein is from the spirits with you. Oh. <laughs> you can get to go away. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. I did it harder. No, <laughs> he just whacked me. Oh. What are you trying to do? Pop it? No. Well, next time they try to get blood, like they try to get blood yeah, from a rock head. whenever they go in here because I got small veins. I'm gonna tell them to go in my forehead. Yeah. That's crazy. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to bed. I need to go. To not the spirit attacking her from the inside. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know he doesn't care. He's like, yeah, okay. That's so crazy. I, this is gonna, this is a thing. We need to, like, I'm, am I, am I, are there any doctors in the house? <laughs> I've never had a vein pop out of my forehead. I gotta go. This is too much. I'm tired. Like, this is, I am, this is, I am ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm dramatic. All right. I love you guys. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You guys just, man, you guys just light up my world. Like, I get so excited. I can be the most tired or the most, like, down, having a bad day. And as soon as I go live, I'm just like, my friends are here. And it gets so exciting. So, um, it's not normal for me. This has never happened. It's weird. Um, match. Oh, thank you. So, um, you look in your, your private messages and see if there's a, you should get a automated thing that says, Hey, thank you for like, you know, asking for a color match. Here's the form. Um, but I'll go in and look right now to see if it sent it to you. Meanwhile, I got to go on, on WebMD and, uh, find a, a Google machine doctor and see why I have like, it's, it's not a tumor. Okay. I love you guys. I hope you have a good night.